Yeah, I mean, it was um, kind of the, the lineup threw me off on one of the restarts. We lost uh, two spots, really. You know, I thought one was close, but I didn't expect to fall another spot back. So that put us to the third row, and that was uh, that was always going to be tough. You know, my car handled really well. It just uh, on, on restarts for a couple laps, it took a while to kind of get it going, and I kind of knew restarting that third row was going to take – some action to, to go out there and, and uh, have a chance to win. Gave the 54 a big shove, thought maybe, you know, get him battling and, and try to get around the outside of him. But overall, to finish top five and win a stage, can't thank Daniel and, and Landon enough. We worked so well together today. So that's what makes this team so special. So we'll keep digging. Of course, we want that win and can't wait to get to Coda next week. But overall, on a racetrack, a super, well, we'll call it a super speedway now. Uh, anytime you got a clean race car, top five, I'll take it. You what it different on that final restart? No, it was like I, I I stayed. Landon gave me a big shove. We kept shoving, kept shoving. Uh, and the 54, you know, I mean, he had momentum, and I, and I was able to get a big run and shove him. But there was nowhere I was going to be able to go. So um, I thought we got the most out of it. What did you think, think of this place? It, it's uh, you know, it's crazy. It, you know, I, I I hate this type of racing. Always will. Um, but I'm sure I put on a great show for, for the fans and for TV, you know. But with that said, if we were to run this with uh, our normal aero package, the race would probably be terrible, quite honestly, because these repaves, that'll happen. So it's a it's a catch-22. I don't know what it is. I hate this type of racing, but, you know, it's probably better racing than we would have saw if it was just our normal aero package running around the bottom nobody passing each other. Is it the same as Daytona? Talladega, or is it different because it's so much smaller? Uh, it, it's 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 a little it's a little bit it, it it's mostly the same, but it's a little bit different. I mean, the, the corners are t so tight, so it's real easy for the car to step out or for you to get checked up and and lose that momentum and then get spread three wide, and then it gets real hairy once it gets three wide. So I'd say it was uh, it was like a Daytona Talladega with somehow a hold your breath even more. And you think that could be different when we come here next summer? Nah, that's not my job to worry about. I just drive what they tell me. Uh, well, first and foremost, that the restart before when the 39 edged me out, that, that kind of was what was the biggest difference for us. Um, then we go, you know, we go into the final restart. I'm coming off the four and I start running out of fuel. And I'm like, hey, we're out. And I almost went down pit road and I'm like, well, I'm going to give it a shot. If I run out, I'll just pull down on the apron and they can go by. I was spitting and sputtering all the way to the start finish line, and finally it like cleared out, and somehow we were able to run those last three laps or whatever it was. Um, I got really loose getting into three. I don't know if you guys saw it on TV or not, but I got really loose getting into three. The 98 did a heck of a job rolling out of it, letting me gather it back up and save it, and then he hooked right back to me. Um, I think the biggest difference maker is when I came off the two, I don't know who it was, but somebody was still tight on my door down the back stretch. I could have been clear. I think I could have got a big enough run to maybe make something happen with a 54 because he was way out there. But um, all in all, it was a, it was a great day for for RCR bouncing back from Phoenix. We, you know, as an organization, we just struggled there. Um, so to to be able to run second with with Bennett on, on the side of the car, um, primary sponsor for us was was big because they they're literally their organization is um, headquarters is 15 minutes down the road. So. I was wanting to win so bad for them. We have like 150 guests here that, that were watching the race up in the in the suite. So wanted to win so bad for those guys, but we got to ha hang our heads up. You know, I mean, we got to stay positive. Um, we're the first loser. That stings a little bit. I, I've lost now three different times at Atlanta and ran second. So one of these times I got to win one, right? So we'll go back. We'll see what I could have possibly done differently and uh, come back better next time. What do you think of this type of racing here? You know. I, there's pros and cons to it. Um, I thought, thought it probably put on a really good show for the fans. Um, I was really getting frustrated early in the race, like stage one and two, how everybody was wanting to ride up against the wall like you do at Daytona and just do get the train going. And I'm, I'm on the bottom just trying to make stuff happen. I'm by myself just trying to make it happen. I mean, we're here to race, so like, let's race. And uh, that was the only thing I, I was a little frustrated about. I'm like, man, these guys are just too, so scared to come off the top lane because they don't want to you know, lose a spot or whatever, but I, I think we could tweak, you know, a few things here and there to make the package a little bit better, but all in all, I thought the racing was, was pretty good. Um, it's just really hard to get runs. 
had to really lag back to the guy behind you to really build that momentum. You had a, what we call a bubble that you, it was hard to break that bubble. You'd get like half car with somebody, you'd push them out. So just trying to get it to where we can maybe push a little better, um, maybe tandem a little better, stuff like that. It was hard to ta stay tandem longer than, you know, half a lap. Um, so I don't know. I mean, there's, there's room for maybe a little bit of improvement, but I thought NASCAR did a pretty decent job. Atlanta did a pretty good job. I was hate, hated that they changed this whole configuration, but to run second's not too bad. What kind of tweaks do you have in mind? Just like the big, the big spoiler maybe? Yeah, or? I mean, I think the biggest thing is if we could just get it to where we could, could push a little better or or they do it to where maybe we they give us a little more power, you know, maybe not do like full restrictor pedal play deal, give us a little bit more power. You don't have to go to the 650 or whatever it is, 700 horsepower that we have. You could go meet in the middle to where you kind of have to lift and do things like that. I, I think it would kind of get in the driver's hands a little more, and I think that would make the racing just a little bit better, but I, I'm sure as a fan, it was probably a really cool race to watch. Um, I, I know I'm going to go back and watch it. I always go back and watch all the races, so when I when I go back and watch it, I might have a different outlook on it, but uh, for right now, I think we could just kind of speed the cars up a little bit more for us. Give us a little more power. I think we'd be all right here. Uh, second place here and first place at Daytona a couple weeks back. How big is that for the rest of the Super Speedway races remaining? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, uh, I've i just over the years just gotten pretty good on Super Speedway style races and I don't feel like I do anything special. Uh, I feel like I, I think it's more of a mental game than anything and I really work on the mental side of things in racing. Um, you know, like, just, just, just try to, I don't try to overthink things, but at the same time, I'm just trying to make methodical moves throughout the race and, and not put myself in a bad spot. Um, and I try to position myself racing around certain guys. If there's a certain guy behind me that I, I'm not too comfortable with, I try to get away from him. So just things like that mentally, I think kind of help you on the super speedways. Um, I have a lot of confidence on, on the super speedways. I, I don't necessarily love them, but I seem to get around them pretty well. So uh, there, there's there's trophies to be made. Um, you know, when we go back to, to Daytona, we go back, you know, Talladega, we come back here. Uh, so I think there's some good opportunity that we could win some more races uh, at these style tracks. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I mean, look at my right, rear, right, right, right front fender, it's caved in. Uh, so I, I mean, I was there, I got through the gears better than him, and I he was sparking. I think something fell off his car in the restart zone. I was upset that he stayed out um, because it was going to ruin somebody else's race too. So I knew I had to get to the gears better than him. I did. Pulled to the inside. I mean, I was clearly there and he wanted to come down and stand in the gas. It was too late to lift and um, if I would have lifted, we would have been back in 10th or 12th. How could the final restart have gone better for you guys? Um, if we would have gone 15, 20 more feet before the red flag and we could have restarted third. Uh, or we could have been in third when the red flag fell. but. When we were in fourth, we couldn't restart at sixth because uh, we'd been just too far back, and so I had to go second row. Uh, and obviously, me and the 21 worked well together. Uh, I pushed into the, the win at Daytona, and we were working well together throughout today. So um, I knew we were going to have a good pushing, but yeah, I mean, the bottom's just a disadvantage at this new racetrack. What did you think about the racing overall, this kind of back on the intermediate super speedway hybrid? I love the, I love it. I, don't I wish it was at a different racetrack. I feel like we could have done this to a different racetrack and it would have been awesome. Um, I mean, I, I've never even ran that well here at the land on the old surface, but I just enjoyed it that much. Um, so I do miss it, but this racing is definitely cool because handling does come into effect, unlike uh, Talbega or Daytona. So uh, pretty neat on that aspect. How was it to come back up to the field so far? Yeah, we passed a bunch of cars. Uh, it was frustrating, uh, but we had a really fast Monster Energy Ford Mustang and we were able to do it. Anything to note for the summer race? Yeah, it's gonna be really slick. Handling's gonna come into a, a big effect for uh, for the summer, and uh, we should be we should be we should be good. Is there anything different you could have done on the last restart? Nah, I mean all we could do is push, and that's what we did. And uh, I thought we had third, but uh, it must have been close at the line. So we'll take fourth and move on to Coda. You know, who knows? Maybe he saw the sparks rolling out underneath the car, and he's like, something's gonna happen. So he just he may have been he might have just been defending himself, and so. I don't know. I, I haven't talked to him yet. Um, you know, but like I said, it's racing. But uh, can't thank the boys from Tax Slayer and Jordan Anderson Racing enough for bringing such a fast, fast Camaro today. It was we were hooked up, man. What do you think about this hybrid super speedway intermediate deal? 
it's interesting. Like it's it's almost kind of like I feel like old Daytona where handling kind of starts to come into play and like you're you're working with what you can and you know it's obviously there's a lot of questions today. So I think I answered a lot of them and uh, you know but still I had a lot of fun and uh, thankfully Atlanta's still fun. Hey race fans, thanks for watching this video from Danny B Talks. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another video from my channel.